Hi dear students, my name is Bal Subramaniam. Dear students, hope you've written well today's uh, financial management and business data analysis. Dear students, yesterday I made a video that is a day before exam strategy. In that video, I shared my opinion with respect to each and every chapters and even concepts also. I expected from this chapter, you go with these concepts and this chapter, you go with this concept like that in detail information with respect to all the core concepts also explained. So, by going with this question paper, because yes, I I, I done my job best. I done my job best. Okay. Now, in this video, we are going to discuss together then the what the core areas he considered to design this question paper. Dear students, few hours back this question paper in your hand, now in my hand and we together we will study how this question paper he derived from the core chapters of the financial management particularly. Okay. Let us uh, move into the each and every question. The first question he asked from working capital, here he asked which one of the following statement is the weighted average cost of capital. So, this question he covered from cost of capital, the question he covered from cost of capital, weighted average cost of capital, which, which one would be the statement is right. So, weighted average cost of capital decreases as firm debt equity ratio increases. So, this question he asked from cost of capital, actually cost of capital is a problematic area, but he concentrated in theory part also. And uh, another important point is, important point is, X limited considering investment proposal. This this question, a proposal for investment initial cash outflow 20 lakhs has a life of 7 years and a proposal profitability index, profitability index he asked, the present value of annuity 1.5 discounting rate. So, calculate present value of cash inflow. Generally, they used to ask uh, when profitability index is there, PV of cash inflow divided by PV of cash outflow. Hello, PV of cash inflow divided by PV of cash outflow with the same basing on this, he expected to find it out what is that PV of cash inflow, right? So, this question he extracted from investment decision that is capital budgeting, capital budgeting. Then the second question, then third question, an asset the sign of large inventory build up. This is the nothing but directly from ratio analysis you can consider ratio analysis. This is a module number where it considers ratios, funds flow, cash flow, comparative common size, tool for analysis he identified. So, this is the ratio analysis. Generally, in ratio analysis, we expect a problem, but here along with the problem, he concentrated theory also. And uh, this would be the calculate cost of debt, real cost of debt. The student real cost of debt, cost of debt is considered, no doubt at all, it, it comes under the cost of capital cost of capital where inflation rate to be considered and at the same time second one here if you come to the commercial paper. So, commercial paper we can also discuss as a sources of finance for working capital particularly short term funds. If you observe this one is a problematic area. So, when money markets money market instruments it will touch in short term source of finance and at the same time for working capital what are the various short term sources available for working capital also we can consider. So, this question extracted from institutional institution and instruments of financial market, the chapter is there you know, institution and uh, instruments, instrument particularly commercial paper, commercial paper calculation estimation is given. So, face value has taken maturity period, the annual financing cost of the commercial paper. So, then in the next one, this question, question number 6. If the project is 22,84,000 usable life is 5 years, the annuity is 8 lakh then payback period, payback period, calculation of payback period is nothing but investment decision or capital budgeting. So, actually capital budgeting generally we expect a question from a 10 marks question, a 7 marks question, but here simply he asked for MCQ for payback period and yesterday I told you clearly you go with that video. So, if it is a traditional payback period, if traditional methods he considered, certainly he may consider the payback period. Uh, luckily, he proved my word. And another one is the gone with the seventh. If the annual demand for raw material, that is a 
raw material 20,000 the price right here here we cannot discuss the answer for this right because within the seconds but I am going to identify the which concepts from which area he identified the core concepts. This comes under the inventory management, inventory management where we covers in working capital management and then uh, if uh, average receivables are 3,25,000 and cash flows 2,25,000 okay this question from debtors management dear students debtors management debtors management means we can consider it is a working capital management in working capital management you have three areas most important areas yesterday i told you one is to go with the working capital estimation then operating cycle then i told you to refer debtors management receivables management and uh, this is a uh, this is not our fm this data analysis okay and uh, here the constant uh, growth rate model so this would be applicable for the dividend addition dividend addition dividend addition of the company and at the same time here the question number this is the along with this dividend addition you have one more question this is the data analysis is go over right here oa ssi committee it's nothing but the pension oriented right this one is a uh, with respect to institutional instruments so pensions that is nothing but institutions and instruments theory part only they covered and at the same time just as annual growth of investment over a specified period CAGR it is nothing but time value of money time value of money also he covered from time value of money instead of asking a problem simply he covered the theory part and at the same time here this is the business data analysis it is not our zone and at the same time business data analysis it is not our zone and here the business data analysis from the theory part so far if you observe the mcqs so some questions they directly asked and some questions they took the problem and they designed the problem so it means that from the given chapter don't expect a so seven mass question but also you may small means mcq questions also we can expect coming to the most important b section right where the seven mass question primary market secondary market wonderful questions directly asked the question while seeing this one student feel i think very very happy they felt very happy because of this question uh, instead of uh, business data analysis i think uh, you can do the better coming to the next one is uh, current ratio liquidity ratio proprietary ratio working capital reserve bank overdraft they asked all the ratios yesterday i told you in ratio analysis one and two model one they will give you some data and they will ask you to calculate ratio analysis second one they will they will give you ratios and they will ask you to prepare balance sheet the first model they covered so this question they extracted from ratio analysis they designed this question by taking ratio analysis concepts and coming to question b the retained earnings balance sheet net profit and everything it seems to be funds flow statement yes prepare statement of funds flow statement yesterday also i told you funds flow statement very very important comparing to uh, cash flow statement I, I projected go with the ratio analysis funds flow statement if you have any doubt check the video okay so funds flow statement he gave it right then uh, prepare common size income statement so this is a comparative common size statement analysis where it comes the rule tools for analysis where ratio analysis funds flow analysis cash flow comparative common size statement analysis paper is easy this one common size statement analysis right this is the easy question easy question it's not at all difficult then coming to this one this question is nothing but following equity preference retained earning debentures or term loan it's nothing but cost of capital yes cost of capital weighted average cost basing on book value and market market value very very easy question no any difficult point involved in this problem these students student easily can score the seven mark from this the cost of capital so cost of capital is very very easy here thereafter you can move to investment decision very lengthy question they asked seems to be lengthy question but the concentrated npv yesterday i told you go with only npv then i told you to profitability index profitability index based theory question first asked npv here asked payback period three models i told you the three covered but here dear students the paper seems to be it is not a direct question one thing i observed it it's not a direct question they have taken 
the core point from the different different problems and they merged but the thing is uh, it, it little bit time consuming i've gone with this paper question it's not such a difficult it's not a such a difficult but you need to pay attention and don't you, you should not get the tension so if, if you observe this question it would be very very easy but little bit complication is there because of length that's enough so this is from capital budgeting capital budgeting already i told you if at all any question is little bit tricky in such a case depend on the theory so no problem if you might feel this would be difficult right but i don't think so this would be but it is not as simple it's not a simple but it need some complex calculations little bit then coming to this one more expensive machine less life disparity is there the company wants to replace yes it is also from investment decision so actually in mastermind we used to discuss this one is advanced concept in investment decision advanced concepts advanced concepts in investment decision so that is nothing but a capital budgeting only right two questions they asked from capital budgeting then uh, you can move to present value factors also given right the many people they used to ask sir factors factors now you see the factors also they given next question is from the following information raw material okay working overheads uh, selling price material work in progress finished goods data hours the production even 52 weeks might run comfortably yeah this is from working capital management the very very easy question dear students easy question basic model they covered and here they covered this one economic order quantity this is a inventory management it covers inventory management and uh, coming to question number 7 here capital structure net income theory david durant first theory net operating income theory david durant second theory in the presence of tax direct problem covered in mastermind material also so you can comfortably handle this problem so net income net operating yes this question capital structure dear students capital structure capital structure and uh, very easy question this is question number b this is uh, fixed assets current assets retained earnings right total assets turnover ratio yeah calculate operating leverage financial leverage this is also from very easy question what dear students what do you see so leverage is a easy leverage chapter leverage analysis leverage analysis so basic model only covered operating leverage degree of financial leverage combined leverage previously means he asked much more he, he asked several things but here he simply concluded this one so this is and this is the bds okay from this point what the my conclusion is nothing but paper is is easy but the investment decision question particularly that question he made little bit uh, lengthy that's enough but if you know the conceptual clarity about uh, the multiple problems covered in our material okay automatically you can handle right but if it is that question is really tough right the theory also is there okay so finally the paper is uh, reasonably easy one reasonably easy one so with this we can make some analysis that in future problematic chapters means we should not concentrate only essay questions means a big questions uh, for only 7 marks sometimes the core point of from the concern chapter he may extract and he may design the question paper and at the same time theory part also you have to go with very very clearly because he asked the theory part in a such a sensible way so unless until you don't have the concept knowledge you cannot answer it okay so this is my opinion i think you done well expect a positive best results soon hello everyone greetings of the day i hope you might have written your examination very well because coming to business data analytics it is the most easiest paper for 20 marks now let us see the first mcq in which scale used for quantifying qualitative data is an arbitrary zero point is used so an arbitrary zero point is used in interval scale while measuring the temperatures so the answer is option d that is that is interval scale okay now dash represents a project timeline or activity changes across time so it's very simple whenever you come across the word project timeline 
so immediately you have to understand that it is a gantt chart so it's not bubble chart bubble chart is used for different purpose and density map is used to know the density of population or density of things in a given area and scatter plots to know how things are scattered across a particular area and now coming to the third mcq dash architecture enables business to store sensitive data on premises and access it through app hosted in the public cloud see whenever you come across the word on premise the so you immediately should understand that it is related to private cloud so because in private cloud only we will have on premise data okay because the data will be in our site and it can be accessed by outside people through the public apps and now coming to the question yes you have the second question define prescriptive analysis and explain how it works if you can remember that we have already discussed in our day before sure shot strategy that you need to be thorough with the prescriptive analysis descriptive analysis and predictive analysis and what is this prescriptive analysis prescriptive analysis is one step ahead of descriptive analysis and predictive analysis and this prescriptive analysis is used in global positioning systems where the global positioning systems will prescribe you the best way to make your journey depending on the traveling time and the road closures so this is how the prescriptive analysis work and definitely you can write it for 7 marks and you can easily score maximum marks from this question and now coming to the eighth question eighth question is ours business data analytics transformation of data to decision relevant information requires to go through certain core steps in the light of the given statement explain the steps to transform the data into information so if you just look at the thing how to transform the data into information so in our day, day before sure shot strategy also i told you that you need to focus on questions which are there related to steps steps of data analytics steps of converting data into information steps of cleaning the data so this step wise questions are very important because they wanted to test whether you know the process or not now coming to this particular question the first thing will be the collection of data second thing will be the organization of data the third thing will be the processing of data and the fourth thing is integration of data the fifth thing is data reporting and the sixth thing is data utilization so these are the six steps involved in transforming the data into information and now coming to the next question data analytics so data analytics is a science of evaluating unprocessed data sets to get some conclusions in the context of the given statement briefly explain the steps of data analytics so data analytics is a process of analyzing the data or mining the data so what are the steps first one is the criteria for grouping the data second one is collecting the data third one is organizing the data fourth one is cleaning the data and fifth one is adopting the right processing tools to analyze the data so these are the steps involved in data analytics so i hope you might have written these questions very well and all these questions are present in our masterminds material in a clear cut format so those students who have prepared in masterminds material might have written all these questions very easily prepare well for the next examination all the best thank you